Hey guys, this is Paul for Phone Arena, and as we do every week, we delve in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store to dig out some fresh new apps for you. Let's go check them out. Photo, or however you're supposed to pronounce this, has been available for iOS for a while now, but is currently a brand new offering on the Android Play Store. It is sort of like Instagram for moving pictures. When you open it up, you have a live feed here, uh, with all the popular and all of your friends photos. When you want to share a live photo of your own, just tap here and set up a shot. The camera will automatically take a few photos and stitch them together into a GIF file, which then you can share. Black screen of life for Android. This app is mainly created to allow you to lock your phone while you're still listening to a YouTube video. It works like this, once it's on, it will read data from the phone's proximity sensor, in our case it's this one over here. When it detects something obstructing it, the display will turn off. You can block it with an object, turn the phone upside down on a table, or just put it in your pocket and continue to listen to your YouTube clips without issue. Boomerang for Android and iOS if you are feeling a bit jealous of the iPhone 6s's new live photos feature, here's a solution from Instagram. It's an app which will take a few quick snaps and stitch them together into a GIF file. It works quick and easy. Just start the app, take the photo and share. That's it. Easy home for Samsung smartphones. If you own a Sammy smartphone with a fingerprint scanner, you can turn it into a capacitive touch key with this app. What this means is that you won't have to push down on the button, you only touch it and your phone will return to home. The Pro version unlocks gestures such as a long touch to sleep or touch to wake, but this here is free and works uh, out of the box. It supports both the old style swipe to scan sensors and the new touch scanners from 2015. Reboard for iOS Reboard is a keyboard for quick typing and multitasking. When you tap the icon here at the top, you are presented with a various set of options. Now just type what you are looking for and choose the service. We are going to look for shock in uh, GIF files. And there we go, we can pick a picture we like and instantly insert it into the document or chat that we are currently typing inside, or we can just copy a link to it. You can use Reboard in a similar fashion to gain quick access to your calendar, calculator, news, music, YouTube, Wikipedia, Google Drive and much much more. You may not be into third-party keyboards, but if you need to enhance your iPhone's multitasking capabilities, you may want to give this app a try. It's free after all. These were all the apps that we're gonna show you in this video. If you wish to check out the full list that we prepared for you, just follow the link in the description to go to the article. I have been Paul for Phone Arena. As always, thanks for watching and see you next week.